Hello! Today we're going to be going over how to set up hotspot materials. So this is a specific type of texture which, you can look them up here, I think the mo Valve mostly refers to them as trims in Counter-Strike 2, but in Alex they were more commonly called hotspot textures. But basically, they look like this. Bad example. It's a little blown out. Here. They basically look like this. They're basically separated into sections that using something called the subrect editor, the uh, hammer editor knows how to automatically apply each of these to a face in the hammer editor. So it just very easy way of giving some edge definition and just really making a uh, what otherwise would be a very flat wall pop a little more than traditional tileable textures. Anywho, pretty simple to set these guys up. All you have to do is go up to Tools. This is assuming you've already imported the actual textures into a material using a material editor, which if you haven't, I've got a tutorial for that as well. But go to Tools and click on Image Subrect Editor. What this will let you do is it'll let you browse to the material that you've created so in this case, it would have been my test material from the last video. And you can open it up. And then this easily allows you to draw in each of the sections. So kind of just draw them to the seams so they properly will be set up. Um, and then you can use the bracket keys to make the grid smaller or larger. So you can properly draw the rectangles. Basically, what you'll do is you'll just do this for the whole sheet, so on and so forth, and then you can quickly save it. Then, what you'll need to do is, after it's saved, which you would save it, I've already got one, so I'm not going to bother. Once it's saved, you're then going to need to find your material that you had created earlier and open it. And then you're going to go to the Attributes tab. And there'll be a few options in here, but you're going to see Rectangle Definition File. And you'll see the created layout here. Now, if you're using this exact layout that Valve uses for a lot of their um, trims, they already have one made. So you won't even have to bother making one. You can just select theirs, accept, and now when you try to uh, apply the hotspot material in the hammer editor, it'll actually apply appro appropriately. Now, if you actually want to make some of your own trims in the style of the valve ones, um, since they seem to work pretty well for texturing a wide assortment of assets, not just meshes made in Hammer, but a lot of their model work actually seems to use uh, a lot of these to save on texture memory, I'm assuming, um, or just ease of texturing. Uh, and if you do, I've actually included a download in the description for some base texture maps that, if you're familiar with Substance Painter or Designer, you should be able to use them to help you get started. Um, so it'll just be some base maps, base normal, base curvature, and base AO for setup and painter. And I'll th have a base just black and white layout that you can then use in Substance Designer and build off of from. Um, but yeah, other than that, I hope this was informative and helpful. And uh, I'll see you in the next one.